On Saturday night, armed groups attacked Haiti's largest prison. We were asleep when we heard the sound of bullets. The cell barriers are broken. I'm the only one left in my cell. By Sunday, local reports say there were no signs of police officers and the main prison doors were still open. It was a very difficult situation last night. The riot in the prison, our lives were at risk. What we did was shelter ourselves. There was a lot of shots. We were afraid for our lives. I received a bullet here and another a little higher up. I was hit yesterday at 9pm. I'm suffering. Afraid of being killed in the crossfire, some inmates stayed in the complex, which this time last year held nearly 3,700 prisoners. I don't know how many people have died. I know there are only 99 inmates left inside the prison. The prison break came after days of mounting violence in the capital Port-au-Prince. Former police officer and gang leader Jimmy Charretier, also known as Barbecue, called for criminal groups to unite and overthrow the Prime Minister, Ariel Henry. We asked the Haitian National Police and the military to take responsibility and arrest Ariel Henry. Once again, the population is not our enemy. The armed groups are not your enemy. Arrest Ariel Henry for the country's liberation. As the violence broke out, Henri was in Nairobi to sign a deal. The next step in bringing a UN-approved security force of 1,000 Kenyan police officers to the streets of Haiti. Since 2022, Haiti has requested international help to control the gang situation. In recent days, nearly 15,000 people have been forced to flee their homes, according to the UN. We can't take it anymore. We have nowhere to go. We run with our belongings. As an unknown number of prisoners remain on the run, Haiti's government has declared a state of emergency, with a curfew in effect between 6pm and 5am until at least Wednesday. Madeleine Lobooth, ABC News.